Okay, here we go into phase two of the uh, screwdriver dipole build. If you missed the uh, first video, go to my channel and uh, find that one first, and watch that one first anyway, and then uh, pick this video up. Um, what we're going to get into today is, uh, well, I haven't really made any progress with the dipole, but I will show you what I've done with the uh, screwdriver, and I'm going to use the same parts for the, uh, the dipole antenna as well. So I figured I might as well uh, film this and show you exactly what's going on so you can get caught up here and uh, get the parts and get to building this thing yourself. So anyway, here we go. I uh, mentioned before about the the uh, copper sheeting. Here I've cut the fingers. Let me see if I can get some light down in there. There you go. You can see the fingers. Uh, and I soldered that to the inside of this uh, two inch copper coupling which got soldered onto the uh, copper pipe. So that's what's going to grab the loading coil as it moves in and out of the uh, the lower mast uh, section there. <clears throat> and here's the, uh, the loading coil for the screwdriver. And I'll start with uh, a parts list from the very top here. This is where your whip antenna will screw into. Right at the top that is a uh, quarter inch by three eighths inch brass fitting. <clears throat> the next fitting down here that is a let's see three eighths inch by three quarter inch brass uh, fitting and that goes into a PVC fitting. This PVC fitting here is a half inch by one and a quarter inch uh, reducer I think it was not a bushing this was a reducer I believe and this one here this piece here is a inch by inch and a quarter uh, PVC bushing this one here I ended up having to sand down so it would fit inside the inch and a half PVC loading coil here's the uh, 11 turns per inch that I was talking about with uh, 16 gauge uh, wire coiled. I think there's 200 turns on this one. I don't think I'll need all 200 by any means, but I figured the extra on there couldn't hurt. Uh, down at the bottom where I popped it in and back out to hold it secure. Uh, and I also uh, wrapped it in electrical tape there, which seems to be getting worn from pulling it in and out of the, uh, the uh, lower mast section. So anyway, that's uh, the top pieces here. Let me uh, move on down to the very bottom of the antenna here. Okay, inch and a half PVC into a, what was that one? Inch, uh, inch, one inch by three quarter bushing is what that was. And again, I had to uh, file that down, uh, sand it down rather, to get it to fit inside the the uh, one and a half inch PVC pipe, uh, holding that secure. It's not just sitting in there, and I didn't, uh, and I didn't, uh, oh, I didn't uh, put any adhesives on there. I used uh, flathead screws. I'm actually going to add more going around so the whole thing is held secure in place, but. I wanted to do it this way so I could get back inside it if I had to and readjust the uh, length of travel for the uh, the actual antenna moving up and down on the all thread. Okay, anyway, getting beyond this piece here, uh, we have the uh, 3 quarter inch brass uh, clothes nipple and then a 3 quarter inch brass cap, which I you're going to have to pull out your tap and die set there on this one and you're going to pop yourself a uh, quarter by 20 inch hole for the all thread to travel through and uh, here you can see I put a little rubber bushing in so it won't bottom out and lock itself up on the uh, the two lock nuts that I put there and uh, moving on down to the very bottom the power horse of the uh, the power plant of the whole thing a uh, good old trusty Black and Decker cordless screwdriver, six volt. I simply uh, stuck the all thread into the chuck, 
drilled a hole and stuck a cotter pin through it. And uh, that's how high tech we are around here. So anyway, uh, I removed the battery pack from the inside, uh, soldered these wires in place of the uh, existing wires so I could get power from an external source. I'm going to run in the screwdriver dipole. I'm going to run the power leads back to a double pull, double throw switch. So I'm able to reverse uh, uh, anything I need. Uh, sorry, I can reverse the uh, the direction from inside the the truck there. So anyway, that's where we are for now. <clears throat> I hope you uh, got all the parts the parts list down properly. And if not, go ahead and uh, post something in the comments there, and I'll get to it. And I'll uh, certainly write you back and uh, correct anything that I might have left out or uh, or anything I've been mis misleading you about. So, anyway, that's the project. Uh, stay tuned because I'm going to show you uh, even more depth uh, as we get further into this. Uh, I'll show you more in depth of what we're doing and some of the things that I've learned along the way. You can learn from my experiences. But uh, anyway, that's the parts list. Get to the hardware store, get your stuff together, and uh, I'll be putting another video up soon. A video up soon. 73s.